You know, whenever I speak out against legalism, I, I'm hesitant to do so because I know people will misunderstand. People confuse legalism with obedience. When we talk about legalism, we're not talking about God's laws. We're talking about man-made laws. And we are to avoid those because we live under grace. But a lot of times, people confuse that with obedience. And they use God's grace, listen to this, as an excuse for immorality, self-indulgence, non-involvement in God's kingdom's work. You present to people a standard of what they should be doing, and many Christians say, King's X, that's legalism. I don't have to do anything. I'm under grace, not under the law. May I remind you that those of us who live under the New Testament, under grace, and not the Old Testament, the law, don't operate according to a lower standard. We have a higher standard. Grace imposes a higher standard of obedience, not a lower standard. Didn't Jesus say that? He said, the Old Testament said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks on somebody with lust is guilty of adultery. The New Testament is a higher standard of behavior. Listen, grace is not an excuse for disobedience to God. A few years ago, I wrote a book about the abuse of grace called Grace Gone Wild. And it's what I'm seeing in the church today. And I gave this definition of grace. I said, grace is not the license to do what you want. It's the freedom to do what you should. 